Hi everyone, I'm Seema Yasmin, a doctor and medical journalist at the Stanford Center for Health Education and welcome back to Viral Facts with Digital Medic. Today, seven reasons why COVID-19 vaccines were able to be developed in record time and why you can trust the process. It's really important to know about this because I keep being asked, why should I trust a vaccine that was developed so quickly? Which is a fair question, right? Because vaccines have been around for more than two centuries since Edward Jenner helped develop the first smallpox vaccine in 1798. But typically, vaccine development takes decades. Even nowadays, it can take an average of 10 years to develop a vaccine. New COVID shots were developed much more quickly than that, in around 10 months. So let me get to it and let me explain why that was possible with seven ways the process was accelerated. First, even though the virus that causes COVID-19 is new, its cousin, the virus that caused the SARS epidemic of 2002, is not new. Scientists have been studying that for years, been working to fight that earlier coronavirus, and it turns out that that earlier one is about 80 to 90% similar to the new coronavirus that's causing the pandemic. This work on the older coronavirus, including work to make a vaccine for that SARS epidemic of 2002, came in really handy during this pandemic. Basically, it gave us a 17 year head start on understanding the spike protein, which is the target for so many COVID-19 shots. That earlier research helped fast track COVID vaccines. Reason number two, because we're in a pandemic, scientists did vaccine clinical trials a little differently. Usually you run the different phases of a trial, one phase after the other phase after the other in series. But this time, because of the pandemic, scientists ran some of the stages in parallel to speed things up. Third, instead of working independently, Scientists around the world work together to get things done at record speed without compromising safety. Each step in the scientific overview and review process was completed, but it was just done more quickly because everyone was working towards the same goal. Which brings me to reason number four, money, lots of it. Instead of scrambling to raise funds, which is the norm for lots of other disease areas, Scientists were given tens of billions of dollars to find a pandemic solution as quickly as possible. And here's reason number five. Manufacturing of the COVID-19 vaccines began early in the hopes that one or more of the shots would turn out to be effective. And by doing that, by starting the manufacturing process early, that kind of gets rid of delays in rapidly distributing vaccines if and when regulators approve them. So this was definitely a calculated financial risk, but it wasn't risky in terms of the development process or the testing or safety. Reason six brings me to mRNA vaccines. Unlike other kinds of vaccines, these don't contain any live, weakened or killed virus. They don't even contain any small proteins that come from the virus. Because they contain mRNA, which gives your body the instructions to make pieces of the coronavirus, and they don't contain any of the virus itself, it means scientists can skip the time-consuming process of having to grow tons of virus in the lab to include it in the vaccines. And here's reason number seven. Scientists around the world have spent years preparing for a situation exactly like the one we're in now. A situation where they would have to produce a vaccine for a new virus causing a global pandemic. They called this situation Pandemic X and developed a strategy for being a few steps ahead so that when the new pathogen emerged, it would require fewer steps and less time to create a vaccine. So even though this coronavirus is new, efforts to make vaccines for a pandemic like this one are not new at all. They were years in the making. And those are seven of the ways that pandemic vaccines were developed in record time. I hope this answers some of your questions, clears up some of the misinformation that's out there. I'll see you back here next week. But until then, please check out the other videos in our Viral Facts playlist. And of course, take care of yourself and stay safe.